What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to pressure test your carburetors to ensure that they don't leak once you install them on your machine. Okay, so what we got here is uh, just your basic average uh, 8 horsepower Briggs & Stratton carburetor for an older Briggs & Stratton engine. And uh, it's you guys can see it's got the Petcock fuel valve on the side uh, and then your fuel line from your fuel tank would go uh, right there. Basically we're testing uh, the pressure for the needle valve into the seat. Uh, so what happens is uh, I installed this carburetor, I thought everything was uh, good to go, and then it started leaking once it was on the engine. So basically uh, after I cleaned this carburetor um, everything seemed okay. So before I'd blow into the intake and uh, just see if uh, any air would go through. Obviously when uh, you have this uh, in this position because of the weight of the uh, float here pushing down on your uh, needle valve uh, there should not be any air going through but uh, over time some of those seats wear out and some of these little needle valves here also wear out now if you have a brass seat on your carburetor like we do on this one or uh, anything out of metal or aluminum you need to run a needle valve with a rubber tip on it now you guys can see that there's a little bit of deformation where the rubber on that tip has deformed over time just from being uh, pushed into the metal seat. So what we did was we went out and uh, purchased this carburetor uh, pressure tester and uh, we picked that up. This was uh, 110 bucks but uh, you know after a couple jobs it'll basically pay for itself and uh, basically guys you have a little relief here you have a little plunger here and uh, as you press it's a one-way pump that pushes air into your petcock or your fuel intake and uh, it simulates pressure being put on your needle valve so basically right now we have it set at 10 psi and if i lift this up you guys will be able to hear the pressure release and now we're at zero psi so again to test these uh, it's pretty simple i've replaced the old worn out needle valve here and i've put a new one in that doesn't have that little deformation on it so it gets a, a much uh, nicer seal so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're just going to pump this and you guys are going to see the pressure start to rise and we're just going to take it to about 10 psi you guys can see we're just over the 10 psi maybe like 11 psi and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to leave it for about five or ten minutes let it sit and uh, then come back and check it. So we're gonna let that sit for about uh, five or ten minutes and then we'll come back and check it out. Okay so we've come back after about ten minutes of letting it sit. You guys can see just over the ten so we're good. This uh, carburetor is ready to go back together. Um, like I said that's the old uh, needle valve right there. That one has the deformed rubber on it so that's going right into the garbage so just in case you guys were wondering that's how you pressure test carburetors so that you have a guaranteed way of telling that uh, your carburetor does not leak and as always if you guys enjoyed the video think about leaving us a thumbs up you can click here to subscribe click over here for uh, one of my previous videos and as always guys thanks for watching